What's up, guys? Bringing you a another Undertale. I want to finish this game up. As much as I love it, I kind of want to finish it up. Alright, so wait. What was I doing last? Hmm. A mysterious science house. I know it's his lab. Lab? Like, laboratory? Lab? <laughs> laboratory? Does that mean there are dogs inside? I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. Strange dog house. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. <laughs> Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Like, no way you're getting by us. But, between you and me, I think you could go through that creepy lab over there. Between you, you, me, and my bro here, I mean, I tell him all my secrets. What? Oh yeah, that was that. Oh, yeah. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Some strange interference. Can't go up. It's you. Too dark to see near the walls. Get back at dog food. Okay. A yellow dinosaur? <laughs> Oh my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and. Calm down. Whatever your name is. Um, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through the console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. What do you mean? The anime person? Do you like anime? I like anime. <laughs> so uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, there's just um, a tiny issue. <laughs> A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Um, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently, I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um... Anti-human combat features? That's oddly specific. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> yeah, that is not a tiny mistake, Alphys. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm gonna make the mouse go big. Why? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Speak of the devil. Did you hear something? Oh shit. <laughs> I print <laughs> we know what her face really says. Oh shit. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties. It's a rectangle with the two arms at a wheel. To today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Mm. Oh, I'm thinking of a voice. I mean, he's a robot. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. I want to make it sound like GLaDOS. There's only one rule. Enter correctly. Or you die. 
Metaton attacks. Okay, liking the intro so far? Check. Metaton, attack 30, defense 255, Jesus. His, many, his metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let, let's start with an easy one. What's the price for answering correctly? You're giving me the answers, but I want to answer these myself. More questions. Right, sounds like you get it. Alright, so I guess it's just mercy. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Oh, I know this one. Correct, what a ter terrific answer. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Well, obviously metal. I'm going metal and magic. I'm not looking at Alphys. You guys can't see it, but I'm covering up Alphys. <sighs> Here's another easy one for you. Okay, I'm gonna uncover Alphys for this one. Thank you. Wonderful. I'm astounded, folks. I'm gonna give this glowery voice even more. How many flies are in this jar? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take Alphys's by for this one. Correct. Give us all Okay. Let's play a memory game. Frog it. Frog it. You say Metaton, I say Frog it. I would trust you, Doc. Ah, you tricky son of a bitch. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name Metaton? Uh, you fucker. That's cheating. Time to break out the big guns. Dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kiss Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? That's when she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail poison, she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys. <sighs> Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Wait, is Metatron a guy or a girl? I don't even know. Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Your doctor office have a crush on. Undyne, Ascor, don't know, the human. Um. Um. I don't think she'd be attracted to Ascor, seeing as she's says Ascor is pretty much her boss. She's not attracted to. To my character because you know that would be weird because my character is a child and that would make you a pedophile so i'm going undone oh i got it right see ya Ugh. see alphys i told you it was obvious even the human figured it out yes she scrawls her name in the margin of her notes she names programming variables after her she even writes stories of them together. <coughs> Fan fiction. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, this show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. And he flew away. He, she, I don't know. I forget. Well, that was certainly something. I want to look in your fridge. Fuck. Wait, wait. I don't really know a voice for her. Uh, let me give you my phone number. But then maybe if you need help, I could... Where'd you get this? Oh, fuck. I skipped the text. It doesn't even have texting. She, okay, so she's probably commenting on how outdated my tech is. Wait a second, please. Did she kill? What did she kill? I heard a scream. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to the bathroom.
The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. It's a bathroom sign. Your feet are tippy tapping in there. That is not a bathroom. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of instant noodles. You got the instant noodles. Yeah, I keep the snowman piece on me all oh, old times. Bag of dog food sat full. Oh, let me call Papyrus. A lab? My brother would love that. He loves science fiction, especially when it's real. Wait, that bag of dog food looks familiar. I remember seeing it <laughs> in Sans' room. Yeah, I asked him why he had it. He told me he was trying to eat healthier. <laughs> Why would you need to eat dog food to get healthy lessons? You could just have my world's famous spaghetti. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> it's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Computer, it's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. The multicolor puzzle? Yeah, because Papyrus said that puzzle was made by Alphys. Seems like the notes. something. But it's all written chicken scratch. Seems like a walkthrough to a game. Garbage camp, but it's pretty cute. Oh. Now if I go upstairs, will she still be here? <laughs> Science. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. Uh, what did you just call animation? <laughs> they are all labeled human history. All these books... Look, okay. Two scoundrelly clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. You look inside the book. A hideous android is running to school toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. That is a manga. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Looks like that was his work table. Seems dusty. Wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An indescribable invention. When not in use, this bed falls into an extremely easy to draw box. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Dimensional box. Oh, I can store stuff? Let's store that. Um, I don't... I have a feeling I don't really need much food on me right now, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, wait, I forgot to, um, I got to go back to Papyrus. Because he wanted to hang out with Undyne. Tra-la-la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Sure. Where will you go today? Um, Her house is in Waterfall. Then we're off. Tra-la-la. Hmm. I should have worn a few more pairs of pants today. Nanny? Come again sometime, tra-la-la. Wait, save point. What happens if I call papyrus right here? That's Undyne's house. You know, the one with the skeleton in front. Okay. What, what, what? It's a living. 
Oh ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Hold up, wait. Hmm, still getting ready. Take your time. I wanna go, I wanna go front. I wanna go in front. Okay, all ready up to hang out? Okay, stand behind me, human! Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Okay, not gonna lie, this house looks sick. Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi! I don't think we've. Why don't you two come in? Bubs, if I tried to leave, you hear someone shout a whisper from you inside the house. No! You can't escape friendship! Still waiting outside her house? Yeah, I do that sometimes too. <laughs> I accidentally turned around. Here, Undyne. My friend brought, you a, brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So, are we, uh, ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You're a skeleton. You two have fun! Wow. That just happened. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Oh, one of your plans. Then why are you here? Wait. I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a sec. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Oh, it's your music. Oh, <laughs> leaving so soon? No, you're not. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Ooh, piano. One time, Alphys's, uh friend came over. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and feed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. What? I'm not gonna serenade you. I, I think that was the word. Which I are. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? No, but I'm gonna say true. Make her happy. <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys put a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Wait. Oh, so I can go back? Pfft, you liar. An all about your giant sword, your colossal alien fighting robots, your supernatural princesses. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna keep it as true for her. Do, 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 do. And this thing is a teacup in the shape of fish. Look inside the bone drawer. That fucking dog. He absorbed all the bones. This oven is some top of the line empty tea thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate cold food, so Alphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up 
food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Sit at the freaking table, you little nerd. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. If no nerds are allowed, why are you in there? Oh, you're being kind of creepy. Sit down in progress. Oh god, I, I, I held the down button so I turned around. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Can I turn back forward, please? I would like to turn back forward. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Uh, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Can I have the spear? Can I have your sword? Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. Got some hot cocoa? Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I remembered that container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. The fridge? You want the entire fridge? No! That sugar's for the tea. I'm not giving you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spheres? Are there ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Mm, yes. What? Really? That rules. Sugar for the tea. Okay. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you point to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth, it rots your mind, it rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? Wait, it's with that face. It's with that face. What, you want to throw the spear at it? Sure. Ooh, I want you. Are you hitting on me? Ooh, sleeping with the fish. <laughs> okay, let's just get the tea, because it says blatantly correct choice anyway. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I forget what voice I originally did for Undyne. Yeah. <sighs> It'll take a moment for the water to boil. I was about to say, I could go ahead and sit through the entire Game of Thrones <laughs> fucking intro. Okay, it's all done. Eat. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But well, other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. I drank flowey. <laughs> That's Ascor's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, it kind of remind me of it. You're both total weeds. Sure. Oh, hey, the piano song from the statue. You know, I was a pretty high as a kid. Once, to prove I was strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. Couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Let go. Papyrus. Papyrus isn't that door. Papyrus is the best. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the royal card. Don't tell him I said that. It's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. Yeah, I know. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, 
Look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. Get ripped into little smiling shirts. That's part of why I started teaching him to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus has cooking lessons. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Oh, God. Okay, that just happened. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Why didn't you kick the teapot off? Which means that it, that if I give you his lessons, we'll be come closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be best friends. Yeah. Pick me up. <laughs> Put me down. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Just summons vegetables. Wait, wait, wait. So you're making sauce with tomatoes, carrots, and bananas? Vision these vegetables is your greatest enemy. Bananas, not a vegetable. Now, pound them to dust with your fist. How will you pound them? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting together. Against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Christ. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, she just summons this shit. We'll add the noodles. Homemade noodles are best, but I just buy store brand. They are the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How do you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. Clinks against the empty bottle. Yeah, I'm into it. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press Z repeatedly to stir. I'm doing it. Ugh, let me do it. With an energy spear. Nice. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove not symbolize your passion. Think your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire! Ready? Don't anything back! Left, you fool. This burner only goes up. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. Hotter! Darn it! We'll bring your house down. Hotter! Wait, that's too. Ooh. Ooh, I burned your house. Uh, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. I could teach him. I know how to cook good spaghetti. Anyway. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends... That's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. Uh, uh, my house in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. I'm done. He's letting you make the first hit. Check. Attack 41, defense 21. This time, don't load anything back. I feel like even if I do, it won't kill her. Wait, what if I just keep missing? I don't want to hit her. I refuse. Am I not allowed to spare? Alright. Don't die. Oh good, one damage. You good and bad. Make me nerd. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? You know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. 
first. I hated your stupid shaker sack shaker wing stick. I think that's what it said. The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, you probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh no, that looks like the house is crying. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop my stone, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Sounds like only fire lives here now. What? 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 The living... Wait. Grillby, are you in there? <laughs> That's Undyne's house. It's a great place, though. Ah. Uh, <sighs> yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowee, Undyne. Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. You can't sweat, you're skilled. So you run here just to be on the phone? Yep. Then you must have something extremely cool to say about your house. Nope. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I just need to make sure I get you guys these episodes. Ooh, flow change. Tra la la, care for a ride. Take me to Hotland. I'm on a highway to handle. <laughs> Ta la la, Temi Village, the room before the darkening lantern room. Oh, I've been to Temi Village. It's a room, but I don't, <laughs> so I don't understand why it's called Temi Village. Village. Demo. Come back again sometime. Ta la la. Freaking kept pressing X. She gone. Oh, she gone. Ooh. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch a nine fight the human. <sighs> I'm not gonna even read the first part. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her ap ap it later about. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Ooh, conveyor belts. Vulcan strolls in. Check, criticize, hug, encourage. I'm gonna encourage him. He looks so cute. You tell Vulcan's doing a great job. It's attacks become extreme. Ah, ah, does my best. Vulcan parades around your palace. Hard. Give the Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart and your whole body. Ouch, your defense dropped. Ah, so lovey. Vulcan cheeks glow with a bright heat. It's fair. Ooh, let me call Papyrus and Undyne. I rode on a conveyor belt once. I learned pretty fast that they make me sick. Did you hurl? Yeah, like 9,000 times. It was awesome. Stop calling and making her say gross things. Gonna call him in a minute. Oh, 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 I'm a ninja. I don't like this place already. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Alright, well, let's try to get some more money. Sundere plane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Check, flirt, approach. Approach? You get close to Sundere plane, but not too close. Oh, gotta hit the green. 
Sundari Plane looks over, then turns up its nose. Flirt. He told Sundari Plane it has a powerful rudder. Ah, is that true? Oh god, it's dropping bombs. Sundari Plane is looking away shyly. I need to save up though, because I still do want to pay for uh, Tem's College. Tem Tem's Cool Lake. <laughs> Wait, I forgot I can do this. Pyro bounds towards you. Check cooldown and bite heat up. Uh, heat up? You crank up the thermostat. Oh god. Whoa, what the- what, what, what? Oh, 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 I move through those. Okay, so blue is stay still, orange is move through? Okay, he needs more heat. Bringing the heat. What is, what is with the everybody and bombs? Invite? You invite Pyro to hang out. Sorry, I'm all tied up. Uh, yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, wait. Oh, God. Mm. Right, let's just go. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this LMAO. Oh, there's something that way. Eeyor, eeyor. Yep, there's something that frying pan. There's a frying pan lying on the ground. I'll take it. Info. Damage is rather consistent. Consumable items heal four more HP. Bet. Um, OMG, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Ring, ring, click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Uh, hi, so the blue lasers... I mean, Elf is here, hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. I know that. Orange ones, you have to be moving. And they won't. Okay, so just move through orange... Alpha's updated status. OMG, I did it. Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Don't call me right now or anything like that. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Go, 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 go! Oh! It's a switch. Press it. E. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Keep thinking, it's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Alpha's here. The northern door will stay locked. I, d I don't really like doing the voice right now. Solve the puzzles on the left and right. I think you should go to the right first. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo, and it kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. Why don't you try? Try using the console. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Oh wait, I get it. <laughs> I was just wondering, wait, am I supposed to try to find a way to move both those boxes? Hmm, wow, you solved it? I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. Right, fuck you. Oh no, the puzzle's reactivating. Cause those people to miss their work. Yep, that's why I'm missing work too. Oh my god, Sans, go do your jobs. Glad I don't live in Hotland. Me too. Then why are you skipping work? The way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton Show on my phone. Special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Of course, an experienced viewer like me knows CGI when they see it. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Uh, 
the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. Okay, I'm done. Elf is here. Ugh, I can't right now. The blue lasers seem totally impassable, but as the real scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotline Laser database and take it out. Ooh, are you related to Grail Base? You are made of fire. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can... Well, I guess we'll just keep standing here. Mm -hmm. Nice try, but your loitering technique still needs work. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Wait a second. Ugh, it's summer vacation. Got two shots. Okay, um... Um... Ah, there we go. Open says me. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Oh my god! I think um about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but uh, you already solved them. Awesome. And I can't go back. <laughs> Are you got to meet Metaton? Really careful. That dude gives me bad vibes. What? what? But he's so popular. I don't care about people just because they're popular. Well, you can say that because you're popular. <laughs> what? Popular with who? You're popular with me. Oh, the fire you popular with me too. Oh, wowee. Wait, does that mean you don't care about me? Let's not discuss this anymore. Hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties, to the Underground Premiere Cooking Show. I just want to make Metaton sound like GLaDOS. Preheat your ovens, because we've got a very special recipe for you today. You're not a doctor, you're not a scientist, you're not even a full-time employee. And my dog. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. As per culinary standard, a deaf works field surrounds the kitchen. Milk. Oh. Eggs in the fridge? No way, darling. They'd get cold. This isn't a show about washing your hands, darling. That's on Wednesdays. Milk, sugar, and eggs. You should be able to find them on the back counter. Found the milk. You got the you got the you got the milk. The eggs and sugar. MTT brand microwave. Origin of the MTT challenge. Put your food in and set the microwave on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back. Oh, wait, he was talking. Yeah, yeah I think it's a game. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm still gonna give it the GLaDOS voice, though. MTT brand ovens can reach temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Roasting, toasting, burning, charring. You're excited, aren't you, darling? Yeah. Great job. Put them in the middle of the counter. <laughs> Oh, look what I stacked. <sighs> Perfect job. Great, beautiful. We've done, we've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, what a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. Why do you have a chainsaw? A human soul. Do you put the chainsaw down? Hello? Oh. Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Well, wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? 
You need to use a different non-humid ingredient. Why? Uh, what if someone's vegan? Vegan? Uh, well, I mean, what a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right there. MTT brand, always convenient. Human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? What's the matter? Not a can fan? That's too bad. MTT brand only uses the freshest artificial ingredients and chemicals. Oh, great. How am I supposed to get the can now? I cannot. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get to the can in the next minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Ring. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I upgraded your phone, I added a few features. Please tell me I got a jetpack. You use that huge... You say huge... Yes! Jetpack! 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 There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. This is all awfully convenient. Now, get up there. Ooh, my goal. And the timer has a little pizza symbol. I always wanted a pizza clock. Do, 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 nope. What is that? Egg! There you go, my ego. Okay, now that was just dirty. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I made it! Look at this can. I'm ah. <laughs> it seems you've bested me, but only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I love to think what would happen to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh, yes, about the substitution. Have you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Bang. Ring, ring! Wow, we did it. We, we really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, but anyway, let's keep heading forward. Click. Wait, hold up. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. Yeet. Alright, guys, I'm tired. So... I'm going to leave the episode off here. I might record you guys another Winter's Empty Masks really soon, I promise. I mean, it's just the demo update. I've already done the original. If you guys haven't seen the original, you should go check it out. But I'm going to make sure I get that done for you guys. But um, that's it for now. And I will see all of you in the next video. Oh, wait, let's get this over with. See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magic oh, magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to. She probably didn't know. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Alright, so let me see if we can. Alright, as I was saying, I want to get a good view. Alright, well... That is the end of the episode. You all liked it. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, please, everybody, check out my best friend, Cryptus Year One. I, I, I won't leave a link to his channel, but still, look him up. He does really good stuff. He's doing some really good music, gameplays, everything. Also, check out his Webtoon comic. He's amazing. But, <laughs> enough about him. <laughs> More about me. <laughs> me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> All right, but <laughs> that's it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Make sure to like and subscribe.